All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Yatazadak here of Israel. Before I get started, giving all honor and glory to your house. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Today we're going to go into Hebrews chapter 13. Right? So, Lord willing, you're edified. Give me all honor and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai. Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Now, let's get right into it. Right? Hosea chapter uh, 13. Salaki. Did not mean to click on that. No, no. Slack, yeah. All right. So we're back. Giving all honor and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakakwadash. Let's go and let's get right into it. Hosea chapter 13. And as always, we, as you know, we go into the uh, Hebrew, La La Shawan Kwadash. We need the holy tongue, right? We're gonna start off in the uh, blue letter, right? Blue letter Bible. It's a lot. Yeah, just bear with me. Hosea 13 and 1. Which reads, um, according to when according to this to the word, to the words of Ephraim, which were uh which were fearful. Here it's translated as uh, trembling. Exalted was he in Israel, right? And he trespassed in Baal, and he died, right? So Ephraim didn't actually die, right? This is talking about the northern kingdom going off, right? sacrificing under every green tree right this is about the northern kingdom being cast away them going into captivity right via the assyrians right so it reads called the bar aparium rathath nasha'a hawa by yasha'ala waya asham babayel wayamath Look at that word, Rathath, which is Strong's H7578. It says, uh, trembling terror, right? Which looks like it may be a, an Aramaic loan word. Right, you compare it with ratat, trembling, panic. Yeah, I guess you could mean it means uh, panic. Right, ratat. Right. So, Northern Kingdom, right? Which uh, 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 you know the story about the, the divide, right? Um, the first king, right, which was um, uh, uh, high-minded, right, which is why it says he exalted himself, right? Just like Solomon's son, he didn't take heed to the elders. Instead, he, he took counsel counsel from the uh, young men of the, uh, the kings, right, uh, entourage, right? So it says, see, so it says he trespassed in Baal 
and he died right again but all is is uh just goes back to uh it's an actual idol but it goes back to right uh fertility to a fertility god right and that bio let's look at let's look it up for all I got off one of the brother's videos, right? Is all we seen doing this the uh, the little ham ham fist pump, right? Which uh, that's inserted into a lot of the the, uh, the images, right? Of um, so it's a Canaanite idol, right? And that's that's really inserted in, into things like um, what is it called? Uh, uh, Black Power. Uh, the 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 what is it called? Um, you know that that logo with the fist, the fist in the air, right? So that that's that's pushed. Is that uh, Black Lives Matter? That's what I was looking for. So that's always pushed. Right, that that image, right, that uh, which comes with a mindset, right, right, which is uh, right, uh, again, but all, right, which is a Canaanite god, right. You gotta remember these heathens; they worship the the the, the Lord's creation, not the Creator, right. So that's what basically Baal is about. Right, and there's there's a there's another videos that the that the brothers do at Great Millstone. Right, that you can you can look it up yourself, basically. Right, but let's get some background on this. On Baal, which says God of fertility, weather, rain, wind, lightning seasons, war, sailors. Right. says Baal was a title on an honorific meaning an honorific meaning owner or lord in the northwest Semitic language spoken in the Lebanon during antiquity right for Jews among people it became a, to be applied to gods uh, yada 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 Right, so so basically, it's just a fertility god, right? Because we're not going to read all this because it's just confusion. Esau doesn't really know what he's talking about, and it's not really that complicated, right? It's just a fertility god, which means master, which means a possessor, or or uh, or, uh, or lord. Right, it's another way to say Lord, but it just means possessor, right? And it's another way to say husband, of course, right? But, anyways, going back, so Ephraim spoke. Let's go to the blue letter. Trembling, he exalted himself, he offended in ball, and he was uh, cast away, basically, right? Why did he speak trembling, right? Because there was never supposed to be a, a uh, northern and southern kingdom, but the northern kingdom rebelled, right? It's like your little brother, right, trying to say, oh, you know, I'm going to do my own thing, right? I don't need your guidance. I don't need, right? And that's 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 what the that's what the Northern Kingdom did. They were cast away, right? Hosea thirteen and two. And currently, they add 
they continue to sin and they make unto themselves uh, molten images of their silver which reads wa aitha yasapwa la khata'a wa ya aisha wa ya ashwa laham masaka ma kasap ma says uh according to their understanding right says uh idols which are made made by the artificer so like yeah i don't know why i clicked on that made by the artificer holy as in all of it unto them they they say They say the man they say they that sacrifice the men uh unto the calves. May it be kissed, right? Which is what you see uh, Jake doing in uh, uh, Islam, right? You go and uh, uh, kiss the Kaaba stone, right? They call it uh, the house of God, right? They call it, um, I forgot what else they call it. And they go and they uh, and they bow to it, right? Which that is actually idolatry right when you're in the when you're when you're in a catholic church you're bound to a virgin mary statue that's idolatry right that's what he didn't do that's in their that's in their blood right they love the lords to worship his creation not the creator himself right so it says wa aitha yasapwa la khata'a wa ya ashwa Laham Saka Ma Kasap Kasap Ma Katha Bawanam Tazabium Ma Aisha Horash Horashium Kala Laham Hama Amarium Zabakia Adam Igolium Ya Yashak Yashakwan Right For so they would be like the, they will be like the cloud in the morning, like dew. Um, early, which go with like the uh, like the chaff by the whirlwind. Or you could actually say by that which bloweth onto the threshing floor. Quran is threshing floor. But Sayar actually means whirlwind, right? And like the smoke from the chimney, right? Because that word Araba, it just means uh interweavings or chimney or right uh like a uh, roof. Right, like a uh, right, you have a uh, uh, it's also that's also in Genesis, right? The Lord opened the heavens, right? And uh, the uh, the, the rain came down, 
right? So that's what happened, right? The Lord uh, opened the heavens, the interweaving of the heavens, right? He opened up the firmament, right? That's what happened. That's how you say uh, chimney, right? That's another way to say chimney, right? So it says, Lakan Yahayawa Ka Ainan Bakwar Wakatal Ma Shakyun Halak Kamataza Yasayar Magaran Waka Aishan Ma Araba, right? Which, um, is basically that is what it's uh that is basically uh so it says therefore they shall be as the morning cloud and as the early dew that passes away, as a chaff that is driven with the whirlwind out of the floor, and as a smoke out of the chimney. Right? Because the morning cloud basically, I believe it hangs really low. The early dew is like, for example, after a light shower, right? You see the uh, drops are uh, still. Uh, kind of, uh, you can see the drops on the leaves, on the uh, grass, still kind of lingering. And uh, chaff driven away as a whirlwind, right? Out of the threshing floor. So this is what the Lord did, right? He's just speaking about how we cast off the uh, northern kingdom, right? How they would be destitute, right? They went to the Assyrian captivity, right? They went backwards and not forward, right? Just like the Taino, just like the Native Americans, just like the Seminole Indians, right? Native Americans, they're all bugged out, right? Calling themselves uh, Lightfoot, uh, dancing, dancing Bear, and shit like that. You got the uh, Northern Kingdom, right? So after they left the Assyrian captivity, basically what happened is that they forsook Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, right? And uh, now what they're doing is um, after they left the Assyrian captivity, they, they, uh, they started basically, for example, the Aztecs. They would sacrifice people. They would take their hearts out. Right? Basically, they, they went backward and not forward. Right? The Seminole Indians. Right? Basically, they went back to, like, what Ham is, is doing now in the land of Africa. Eating doo-doo sandwiches and throwing spears. Right? That's... They... they they uh, devolved, de de evolved, right? If that's if that's even the right terminology, right? So chaff, that word for chaff, is a uh, Strong's H forty one sixty Mawataza. Reads chaff always as driven by wind. Says chaff as pressed out, winnowed, or rather threshed loose. Right? So that's the word for chaff. And um Hosea thirteen. And four. And I am 
the Lord your God from the land of Egypt and the God Versalakia and God And God, besides me, um, thou shalt not know, and no Savior, right? So basically the Lord is saying, and there is no God except I, and thou shalt not know any other gods, right? And Savior, right? Because the Lord, scriptures say that what? The Lord killeth, the Lord maketh alive, right? So on and so forth. So it reads, Wa Anakya Yahawo Alahayaka Matazarium Wa Alahayam Zalatya La'a Thadai Wama Shayai, right? And Savior, there is none Ayan beside me. Balathia, right? Look at that word, Strong's H1115. It says not accept on account of because. So it's a prefix, right? Here it's used as a preposition, right? There's none except I, right? Now, Jake gets real simple and says that, oh, you know, so that means Yahushai, you know, thou shalt have no other gods. You know, well, the Lord delivers, is going to send a deliverer, a mighty one, the scriptures say. So really, he's delivering, but through Yahushai, right? He's using Yahushai, he's going to use Yahushai to gather the elect, right to deliver the elect right hosea 13 and 5 says and i am in the wilderness in the land of uh, of drought, great drought, which that word is Tala uh, Awabath. Great drought, desiccation, drought. Basically, it just means drought. The la abwath. The la abwath, right? So it reads Anya Yadai Yadayatiaka Ba Madabar Ba Arataza Tala Abwa. That kind of rolls pretty good off the tongue. Hosea thirteen and six.
according to their pasture, right? And they were satisfied. Uh, fully and they exalted their heart upon so I upon so uh, to forget me right they or they have forgotten me basically which reads Kab Marai Yatham Waya Shabaiwa Shabaiwa Wayaram Lab Labam Al Khan Shakah Naya So this is what Jake has done, forgetting the Lord. Right? They don't remember that the Lord fed them, the Lord clothed them, right? The Lord provided, the Lord delivered. Right, he uh, uh, and they forsook how of Hashem Yahushai. Right, the Lord always sent a savior. Right, the Lord always uh, kept his word. Jake did not keep his word. Right, Jake loved this, loves this world. Right? Jake loves to do wickedness. Jake is uh, uh, wicked, right? Which is why two thirds will take the Karagma. Two thirds already forsook Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? The Lord has made you fat, right? The Lord, uh, he 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 uh, kept you till this day. Captivity, past captivity, past and captivity upon captivity, and Jake will not still seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? now so more than ever right so they have forgotten the lord that that uh they gave him pasture right i believe there is a uh precept in the book ezekiel i haven't touched on that in a while on that precept but it says uh Jordan. See if I can get that. I might have to do a lesson on this chapter, right? Let's look at the header. It says Salakia, the good shepherd, which is what Yahweh Shai spoke about. John 10 and 1 through 21. Psalms 23, 1 through 6. Let's start at verse 11. Ezekiel 20, 34 and 11. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he's among the sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all the places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day, which is the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? First, you got to have martial law, FEMA camps, World War III, right? All hell uh, break loose in America, Babylon the Great. Right? So the Lord is like like says, and I believe that's in the book of Zephaniah. I will search Jerusalem with candles, right? The, via the word, right? So the Lord is searching out his sheep.
right? Like it says here, a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among the sheep that are scattered, right? Because we're not actually seeking Jake. We're not actually going up to Jake and telling him, look, you got to come, you got to return, right? We're not telling them, okay, you you know, thus says Yahweh Shai, right? They're going to receive the word or not, right? They're going to hear and either they're going to be a, a, um, how do you say it? Elder Yashawamba likes to use this term, right? They're going to be convinced, basically, right? To come back or not, right? In America, Babylon, Great, which is where the majority of the remnant are, and I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by rivers and in all the inhabited places of the country. Right? I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be. There they shall lie in a good fold and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. Now this is actually gonna, gonna happen Right, but we're not we're not no damn cattle, right? So it's not literally we're not we're gonna be there and oh yeah, we're on the highest mountain and actually in the land of Israel. No, that's talking about those that are speaking the hundred percent truth. It's via starting with our elders and apostles, a great millstone. Right? We got the good pasture. We are the high mountain, right? This high knowledge amongst these other camps. You other camps are are, are just knockoffs. You're, 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 you're just you're shiny, right? Yeah, I wish I said you're full of dead man's bones, right? Because they, they got Jake and, and IUIC causing them to commit adultery. And they're, they're, and they're still in a dead state of mind. Because they don't, they, don't, they don't know. They're, they're not teaching them about the karagma, right? They're not, they're not, right? Yeah, they, 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 they actually bring out a lot of good history. And they call out the small hats a lot. Right, which makes my day, right? Every time I see that Bishop Nathaniel doing that, but they're not telling you the hundred percent truth. We we got there's so many lessons. The Great Millstone, the, the brother brothers are just making lesson upon lesson upon lesson, right? You got to be able to you got to you got to study to be approved, and 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 receive these little, right? These little uh tidbits of uh of inspiration that they're bringing out and you gotta right if you're teaching you gotta you gotta be able to right receive that and and incorporate that into the, the current lesson right that's how we speak often one to another like it says in the book of malachi right via the understanding right <clears throat> so we are of the good fold right we are right just just read uh saint john 10 1 through 21 right why because we're coming up we're not coming up no other way we're not coming up uh um we're telling you don't say it the holy bible right we're not coming up no other way we're giving you yahweh shy right uh we're giving you the, the precepts we prove what we say right we got the fat pasture like it says in the book of isaiah it says make their heart fat make their ears heavy because we're constantly admonishing jake right to the point where they, if you're not if, if if you're not sick of us right calling out these other camps constantly saying uh speaking about the karagma then we're not doing our job right Unless, unless, um, unless the, the day when you, when you, when, when these other camps stop mentioning us, the sellouts and bums, bum camp, the grunts, <coughs> that's when we get worried. Cause then that's when we know we're not, we're, we're slacking, right? Right. But we, when we got, when we got, when Great Millstone is constantly, right? In the mouth of these other camps that's fine right and we're still gonna expose your hypocrisies right so Jer ezekiel 34 and 15 
I will feed my flock and I will cause them to lie down, saith the Lord God. Right? Because that's what the flocks do. After they eat, right? They eat real good, right? Then they lie down, they take a little nap, right? Which is which is what the brothers and sisters do. The faithful, right, ones, right, that watch the videos, right? You know, you watch, watch a video for a little bit. You maybe grab a snack, take a nap, and then you get up and you want some more, right? You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta be addicted to this thing, right? Like it says in scriptures, they have they have um, addicted themselves to this work. Uh, shortly paraphrasing. So it says, and in a fat pasture they shall feed upon or salakia. Um, verse sixteen, I will seek that which was lost, and bring again that which was driven. Away, and I will bind up that which was broken, right? And I will strengthen that which was sick, but I will destroy the fat and the strong, I will feed them with judgment, right? That's basically talking about the least and the greatest, the least and the, the least of them, and the greatest of them. The Lord is going to try up your man's work, right. Right, because some of us were uh, right, had demons on us before we came into this thing, right? We had a some of us may had uh, some some of the brothers may have had a uh, weed smoking demon, some of the brothers may have had a uh, a damn uh, drinking demon, right? And so on and so forth, right? So it says, I will feed them with uh, with judgment, right? And that's for you, O my flock, saith the Lord God, right? So the Lord can bring you into this truth, build you up, and then if you weren't cho called and chosen, he's going he's gonna to break you down, and you're going to fall out, and he's going to destroy you, because he can. He, the Lord can do whatever the hell he wants, right? Verse 17, that's for you, O my flock, Saith the Lord God, behold, I judge between cattle and cattle, between the rams, between the goats. See me that a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, but you must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures, right? Because the word, that's the good pasture, right? You're supposed to give the flock all the understanding, the whole, all the nutrients. You got to you have various nutrients in the pasture. You got the regular grass, you got the berries, you got the... Uh, Right, so on and so forth. Right. So that that's what these other men have done. Right. They 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 so called, right. Uh, have uh, they're they're so called scholarly in the scriptures, right. But they have treading down, right, watered down the word, right. This understanding, right. They're failing the residue, right? They have drunk of the deep waters, right? But then they changed up the breakdowns. They added this and added that, took away this, took away that, right? That's what they have done, right? It says, and to have drunk of the deep waters, but you must foul the residue with your feet. And as for my flock, they eat that which you have trodden with your feet, and they drink that which you have fouled with your feet, right? They spike the, uh, the, 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 the word of the Lord. That water, that good water, right? They, 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 uh, right? They, they, uh, they minimize Yahushua's name, his ability to save, that grace that was given. They're all about the law, the law, the law, right? So the Lord said he's going to, he's going to, verse 20, therefore thus saith the Lord God unto them, behold, I even will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle, right? So some will have, right, will be able to go into the whole book, right? Break down this, break down that, right? The mark of the beast, well, FEMA camps, martial law, right? They got, they got everything. Daniel chapter 7, Daniel 7 and 9. Revelation 6 through, uh, uh, through 20, right? They can tell you what the book of life is. They can tell you about 
they can tell you there's two resurrections. There's an actual resurrection, there's a spiritual resurrection. They tell you about the chariots, right? Which are the UFOs, UAPs, right? They can tell you, right? They can go into the Hebrew, they can go into the Greek, so on and so forth, right? That's the fat cattle, the lean cattle, right? You just know about the fringes, right? You just know, you can barely say how was shy, which is what they do at IUIC. Some of these camps and I, some of these men in IUIC, when they mention you how shy, they, they they say, yeah, yeah, who's shy? Yeah, who's shy? You don't even know how to say it, right? All this time, the only thing that you know is the fringes and uh and and um you may know a couple precepts, and you're not you're you're not multiplying those talents, right? Because you're scared. You won't go out and teach because you're scared. Right? Verse 21, because you have thrust with side and with shoulder and pushed all the deceased with your horns till you have scattered them abroad. And that's what these other philosophies do. Right? Just thrust, thrust, thrust. Move one way, move to another. Right? Like it says in, like I brought up in the previous video. Ephesians 3 and 14. Moved by every wind of doctrine, right? Verse 22, therefore will I save my flock. They shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle. And I will set up one shepherd over them. He shall feed them, even my servant David. He shall feed them. He shall be their shepherd, right? How's that going to happen? Well, David wrote psalms, many psalms. Right, he prophesied. Right, we use those precepts. We receive those precepts. Right. And now is he the head shepherd? No, Jehovah Shai comes in a volume of the book. But you got other other men. Right, David was a prophet. Abraham was a prophet. Right. Verse twenty four. And I, the Lord, will be their God. My servant David, a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken it, right? So the Lord has spoken, right? Who can but prophesy? To who did he, does he reveal his secret? To his servants, the prophets. See, we can go and via the, the, the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash, the divine inspiration, we can uh, tell you what these things mean, right? And it's not it's not always super deep, right? There's a simplicity in Yahushai Habashayak, right? Like scriptures say. Okay, got it, good. Right? Anyways, let's go back. Uh, Ezekiel, or not Ezekiel, it's like it. Ezekiel Hosea chapter uh, 13 and uh, and 7 and I will be unto them like a uh, like a lion right Which the hall is figurative for lion. It's not the actual word for lion, right? Like a leopard, upon the way, I will, I will watch. Wa ahaya laham kamwa shahol. Kadmor al Darak ha Shawar. Right? Sometimes you can read it as Shawar or the War. Right? Hosea 13 and 8. Uh, 
Best of luck. reads uh I will I will encounter I will encounter them like a bear bereaved and <clears throat> I will tear the call let's look that up call says the amniotic membrane enclosing a, a fetus. So this is the call, right? Which animals they have, uh, they have the call as well, right? Which is a it's a it's a membrane, right? That encloses uh, the the fetus, right? The it's the call it's like a, a web it's a webbing of, of fat that is uh that is on an animal, right? So let's just exit out of that. Let me close out these uh these other windows. So that word cigar. It just means uh to shut in or to shut out. Like uh how do you say it uh to shut up as in like you enclose. I guess it's here it's used as uh as the call or in an encasement job 28 and 15 uh says find gold which it's used in um in other applications another uh there's other ways other instances that you can uh you can apply that word right encasement and however you want to you want to put it so it says the encasement of the vitals which a vital is uh what surrounds the particular organs right uh the liver i believe you got the uh you got the liver you got uh you got the um the heart there's a call which is a uh a webbing of a uh an encasement around these these uh organs right It says, and I will rend the call of their heart 
and I will devour devour them <clears throat> there like a young lion. The wild beasts of the field will uh will will tear them. That word actually means uh bakwai, uh to break asunder. That's actually what it means. It doesn't mean uh um to tear. It doesn't actually mean that. It just means bakwai just means to break asunder. So it says I will encounter them like a bear bereaved and I will rent the call of their heart and consume them consume them there like a young lion like they live in the field to tear them basically which is read as apagash ma Kadab Shakal Wa Kwarai Sagar Lab Labma Wa Akalam Shum Kalabaya Hayath Hashada Tab Kwayum Hosea thirteen and nine. You have destroyed yourself, Israel, because in me is your help. Which it's read as Shachat Ka Yasha Allah, Kaya Baya Ba Izar Ka. Izar meaning uh, help or assistance. Right? So the Lord is saying, In me is your help. In me is is your your uh your praise in me is right the uh deliverance right so this is why he said i will i will tear them eat them as a bear breathe of her whelps i will rent the call of their heart because he, the lord bugged jake out right captivity via captivity Jay calls it PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, right? But the Lord did that, right? He tossed and he turned them and he sent them into a strange country, like it says in the book of Deuteronomy. And those that don't repent, he's going to toss and turn them and scorch the earth during World War III, Right? So Jake has destroyed himself. It's not he, because the Lord is giving he, He's giving you so much grace, right? There's particular Jakes that that you know. They receive the understanding, right? They they try to get out that lower state that the Lord put them in, right? But a lot of you Jakes are just contentful in this society, right? You got all the help you need, especially today, right? You got the government, you got, you know, but Jake, Jake loves uh, to be wicked. Jake loves to be a demon, right? Hosea 13 and 10, I will be your king, thy king. Went there and and 
and save thee in all your cities and will judge thee which thou say thou hast said give unto me king and princess right the Lord said I will be your king right uh, there meaning in the holy land right and will save thee in all your cities right will judge thee which thou hast said give unto me king and princess so the Lord was supposed to be the, the, the only king, right? But Jake, Jake wanted to be like the nations. That's Jake's problem. He wants to be like the nations, right? He wants what they want, what they got, what they got, because we are in the time of the heathen. We're not, this isn't Jake's world. This is not, right? And it's, and it's, and it's, and it's slow and it's diminishing, right? This ain't, this ain't going to last forever. Right, so it reads Ahaya Malak Malaka A Pawa Waya Shayaika Bakal Aryaka Washapatiaka Ashar Amarath Thana Laya Malak Washaryum. Hosea 13, 11, I gave unto thee a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. And I took and I took in my wrath, as in took away in my wrath. Atan Laka Malak Baapya Wa Akwach Ba Ibar Thaya. The Lord set up Saul, and then Saul fell. He set up King David because he any any uh he reigned for a pretty good while, and he and he did pretty good. But he shed a lot of blood. He was a bloody man. That's what Jake loves. Jake loves to shed blood. Jake loves to uh, uh, whoop some ass, right? That he gets off off doing just even shit, right? A lot, dude. Jake loves that, right? He loves everything that comes with it, right? The women, the respect, right? And so on and so forth, right? So you set up King David. King David, he actually did pretty good. But they all went off. Solomon, King David. Solomon had many wives. They caused them to uh to worship they caused them to worship their gods. Offer some for some uh some some of that, you know. Hosea 13 and 12. Let's see how many more verses we got. Is bound up the iniquity of Ephraim. It is hid his sin. Tazarar Awan Aparium. Tazap Na Hataathwa. So the iniquity of Ephraim is, is bound up. Right? His sin is hid. <clears throat> right? Because when Northern Kingdom went, was cast away, right? He lost the nationality, right? And then he came to the Americas, right? And the world no longer knew them as Northern Kingdom. They just knew them as a bunch of damn savages, heart eaters. Right, so the Lord, I mean, he, he kind of hid the tribes, that's how he hid the tribes, basically. Right, Hosea 13 and 13.
the sorrows of a travailing woman shall enter unto him. He is a son that is not wise, because now he will not uh, stand in the breaking forth of, of sons, which is happening now, right? You have a son in this society. It's either he's either going to be a mo, or he's gonna he's gonna damn follow. Uh, uh, he's gonna damn uh, worship the damn uh, Virgin Mary statue, bow down to the rock to the uh, Virgin Mary statue. But he's gonna light candles around it, all bugged out, right? So Northern Kingdom is unwise, right? And Jake as a whole is unwise, right? Because you have a child in this society, it's either going to be a mo, it's either going to be in, in these other philosophies, right? Or it's going to be a straight up demon, right? And 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 Jake and the and and the Jake, the father Jake is is uh, right. Is gonna is is because this society isn't built for Jake, right? And right, a lot of you Jakes aren't gonna make it, right? First, you got you had the uh, the um, you got the damn um, the you know what, the the juicy juice, then you got all these other uh, everything's defiled, right? Then you got Jake eating swine. You got Jake doing all, eating all kinds of abominations, getting gout, shit like that. You're not, Jake's not gonna make it. And that son's gonna go through the same thing, right? So it says, "Kabalia, yalada, ya baawa, lawa, hawa, ban laa, hakam, kaya aitha laa, ya aimad." Bama Shabar Bunyam says, From the hand grave, I will visit them, or I will redeem them. Because that word pada, it means uh, to ransom, to preserve, to redeem. From the, from the hand of the grave, I will redeem them. From death, I will buy them back, as in revive them. I will be your plagues, O death. I will be, because that word, the bar, is another way to say plague, right? It also means to, to, uh, to speak or to, uh, to bring forth. I'll be your plagues, O death. I will be your destruction. The word quatab, I believe it means uh, desolation or Salak, yeah. Destruction, ruin. Yeah, that's what that's what I was looking for. It means ruin. Your ruin. O grave. Repentance shall be hid from mine eyes. What does that mean? That means the Lord is going to deliver the remnant out of America, Babylon, great. They're going to go into the chariots, and they're going to be changed in the blink of an eye. They're going to have immortality. They're going to be as the, as the gods. Right? And those that die in the Lord, they're going to, they're going to come out of the earth, come out of the, the ground, go into the chariots and be changed. Right? And we're going to have power over death, basically. Right, power over the grave. 
we're gonna in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna wanna put a foot up your heathen's ass, and then and then we, we we might and then well we can revive you and then do it all over again. Right? So and then we're not gonna have to repent no more. That's that's just that's just what it means. We're gonna be perfect in that day, right? Which reads, "My Yad Shaol Ah Padam Mama Wath Ah Gaal Gaalam Ah Haya Dabaryaka Mawath Ah Haya Kwatabka Shaawal Nacham Yasator Ma Ayanya." It says, because he be the son of his brethren, uh, fruitful, it will enter an east wind, an eastern wind from the Lord, from the wilderness, will send up, and it will dry up his spring. And will be dried up his fountain. He shall be for a uh, spoil. He shall spoil the treasure of all his vessels pleasant, precious. Right, let's talk about Northern Kingdom, right? Because you think you think there's a lot of Northern Kingdom now. There used to be tons and countless and countless. We're still as the uh, sands of the sea. We're in other nations, right? We're mingled in other nations, right? But the Lord, through through uh, captivity, through right, they almost wiped out the Tainos, right? How many? How many? Do, how many people do you think Christopher Columbus slaughtered? Countless. The the Trail of Tears. Countless. Uh, the 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 um, the eighteen hundreds. How many of the Southern Kingdom? Countless. You have a place in uh, Mississippi called uh, Punchbowl. I believe it's in Mississippi, but after uh, slavery was abolished, basically Esau started just putting Jake into these uh, man-made camps and just slaughtering them, because they didn't—they didn't want Jake to uh, overcome them, right? So it says, "Kaya hawa ban achim ya paria." Ya ba'a quadium raka Yahawa ma madabar ayla wayabash ma kwarwa waya harab ma ayan ayan wa hawa yashas yashasa awatazar kol kol ya hamada shasa means a uh, spoil Spoil, plunder. Basically, it means plunder. Right? Verse 16 says, That word Asham actually means trespass, but it's under, it's another way to say desolate. Right, will be desolate Samaria because uh, she hath rebelled against God, against her God. Upon the sword, 
they show fall their little ones will be dashed will be uh dashed onto pieces let's look at that word for touch to break in pieces And she that conceives will be broken asunder. Right? And this is what happened with the Assyrians, right? The Assyrians came in, right? With the sword. With uh I believe they came, they their weapons were iron weapons. Their infants, right, they dashed the infants to pieces. Right? They were very cruel, the Assyrians. Their women were the right, were child. They were, they were probably popped and then cut open, and the child was took out, and they probably strangled the child to death. And this is what Esau did too, right? He took Eve and right, he experiment he experimented on Eve, ripped her uh, stomach open, and uh, experimented on on Jake, right? Tested his uh, medicine, right? Forgot what what is actually called. You can look it up yourself, right? And and in and in captivity, right? He he, he would pop the Jake women, and if they came out, you know, kind of white looking, they would keep it. If it came out too dark, they would uh kill it, right? Or they would just keep keep it keep it on the side, right? And so on and so forth, right? So read Sta Asham Shamar Wan Kaya. Maratha ba alahai alahai alahaya ba harab yapalwa alal yaham ya ratashwa wahar wahar ya tayawa ya bakwaiwa right so with that that's pretty much it hebrew uh salaka hosea chapter 13 uh, going into the Hebrew, it's Brother Yatai Zadak, Hero Rizro. And as always, Lord willing, you were edified, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Middle Stone, Kwame Asha Allah, Abad Babal, and Shalom.